Area of uh, low pressure up in uh, the northeast of us, up in Canada, we've got that cyclonic flow on the back end of that, so it's still bringing some strong winds to the eastern side of the state where we still have a chance to gust 30 to 35 miles an hour. Fort Peck Lake still at a lake advisory. In effect, they extended it until about 6 p.m. this evening with some gusty winds, 30 to 40 miles an hour possible. So choppy winds watch or choppy waves caused by those strong winds. So if you have a small craft, you just want to keep that in mind if you're going to go do any boating this afternoon. Now, it looks like it is going to ease up as we get into this evening and that low does pull away. Pretty breezy for the rest of us today and across the weekend generally. But as we get into Sunday night and Monday, we may start to see those winds pick back up again as we have another cold front coming in from the northwest. So at least, say, Sunday, Monday for a good portion of the area, we'll go with gust over 30 miles an hour possible. Pretty dry today. We do have a chance of some snow, uh, spotty snow at least this morning over on the eastern side of the state and then moving down into the mountains and the foothills. High pressure taking over. So as we get into tomorrow, uh, we're going to see a lot of sunshine with drier conditions. So that's good news uh, to start your weekend. Highs today, 30s and 40s, maybe just a few degrees cooler than yesterday because of that flow coming in from Canada and that cooler air. You'll see those temperatures rebounding across the weekend. 40s and 50s tomorrow, 60s on Sunday. There's that chance of rain Sunday night into Monday. We'll Cool down more seasonal on Monday behind the passing of that cold front. And then as we get into the middle part of next week, high pressure starting to take back over again with that downslope flow. We're going to see those temperatures back into the 70s. Nice.